Hello, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while. It's Mass Man Reviews. Back again with another video. My name is Jay. Um, if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Uh, this video is about a fragrance um, that you see right in front of you. It's Etoile Silver by the house Al Haramain. Very beautiful bottle. Um, presentation is really nice comes in this box which kind of pulls out as such and uh, the fragrance lies in there so as you can see it fits there kind of snug and a really beautiful presentation I would say for an economical fragrance this fragrance um, is under the $40 price range I got mines, I believe, about $27, so phenomenal deal. A uh, bottle is really nice, really nice bottle. Etoile Silver, silver being the color of the accents on the, on the bottle. The bottle is really nice, very nice glass. And this is a 3.5, um, 3.3 fluid ounces, 100 ml. Really good. This was my scent of the day. Um, I've worn it a couple of times already. And it really is a great performing fragrance. So has a, a, a really good uh, performance on skin. And it's a very easy going fragrance, very um, fruity, aquatic, airy, has a lot of good qualities to it. And again, it is very economical. That's the distribution of the atomizer. And it smells powdery in the air. So when I just uh, sprayed it, it has a, a quite uh, a quite bit of powder that kind of fills up the room when you spray it. Very nice. Um, again, uh, some very uh, interesting uh, fruity accords to this. Kind of reminds me of uh, the, the watery melon, not watermelon, not the, the cologne, uh, but a watery melon in a way. Um, with uh, a, a very crisp, um, watery apple as well. Like I said, it reminds me a little bit of Melissium Imperial, or its clones, in fact. But um, just that aspect of it, the, the wateriness. Uh, but everything else is is quite different. There's a, a, a strong oceanic vibe in this one, which is quite delightful. Uh, reminds me of a Cool Water 3.0, and I say 3.0 because Cool Water has uh, X amount of uh, of uh, flankers, so um, I wouldn't call it a, a Cool Water flanker, and and I would say in its likeness maybe a good 50 to 60 percent which is not that similar but um in what the fragrance does the the watery aspects and some of the um fruity aspects it does um in fact remind me of cool water not as bitter though um this is much more sweeter and airy this is a fragrance that you could easily go from the boardroom to the dance floor with. So it's very versatile. And I would say as long as you don't overspray, extremely office appropriate, um, especially in the high heat. So um, not an offensive fragrance, but it does have a strong projection to it. So people around you will smell it. I would just say don't over spray it. Um, it's not an offensive fragrance, but again, you don't want to um, be that that person that kind of overwhelms people with their fragrance. 
And I think this could be overwhelming if um, over applied. Uh, I said performance was decent. Uh, I got pretty much the, the whole entire day, at least 10 hours uh, from this fragrance at about the six to seven hour mark gets a lot closer to skin, but still quite detectable. Um, you don't have to dig your arm in, inside your elbow or um, you don't have to do that hand wall thing. It, it's, it's present. And typically my spray routine is two on the side of the neck and one um, on in, in the crook of the elbow, if you will. So the inside of the elbow. And yeah, it lasted all day. It, it did its thing. I would say, um, although it's it performs better in warm weather, very appropriate in in the fall or um, early spring. Why not? It's just a very versatile fra fragrance that I would say anyone could wear. Sometimes I get. Uh, questions about certain fragrances that I wear which are a little bit too spicy or strong and some of the people that watch me are introverted and they don't feel that they want to I guess project too much with a fragrance I would say this fragrance kind of projects but it is not offensive so I think an introverted person could wear this as long as they don't over apply is the key thing but it is a great uh, smelling fragrance. It has a lot going on for it um, as far as the versatility, like I said. has that nice uh, fruitiness, um, which I can't pinpoint to just being one fruit. It just has like an aquatic fruitiness, if you will. Similar to kind of like what you would smell um, in, in one of those um, suntan lotion or just aquatic thing not the coconut suntan lotion but that that spray on thing that they they have which kind of creates that mist if you will not hawaiian tropics um i, I think more of uh, uh neutrogena or something like that very cool fragrance um I, I would say check it out um if you like aquatic fragrances, if you're comfortable with blue fragrances, this is a great alternative to your typical blue fragrances in that uh, it has some of those qualities, but it's executed, I would say, in, in a different and, and much better way. Very much crisp. I, I would say also it reminds me a lot of the original Aqua Essenciale by Salvatore Ferragamo has that similar aquatic feel to that to, to the original one um, as a matter of fact let's see if if I could find it and we could just do a quick comparison if I could get to the bottle uh, this is so many fragrances let's see find that one yep here we go I just found it so I'm gonna spray this on here oh nope <laughs> not as similar as I thought uh, but let's see I'm gonna break out the cool water And I believe I said about 50 to 60 percent cool water. So let's check that out. Yeah, I would say it's a, a bit closer to the cool water, but a hundred times fresher than cool water. It's not as as um, marine like as cool water. This is a lot more brighter. And I don't know, maybe something happened to my bottle, but this, and this is an older bottle, it's a lot more potent. Very nice, though. Yeah, the, the freshness in um, Etoile's 
Silver is just stunning. So if you like fresh fragrances, um, airy fragrances, versatile fragrances, I think this one is for you. All right, people, um, check it out. Let me know if you've tried this. I, I like it. So drop it in the in the comment below. Um, see what you have to say, and I'll get back to you when I can. Take care of yourselves. I'm out later.